Hello. Today I will be explaining you how you can uh, fix the loud Nespresso machine problem. Usually this is the Nespresso Virtuline machine. You can see it. This is this type of the machine or this one. They have exactly the same problem and sometimes they become too loud. And I will be showing you what exactly can be the problem and how you can fix it. So basically I'll be showing on this machine, I think it's more difficult to disassemble. This machine will be really similar. This machine will start creating the noise, so I got another one. Uh, the same mechanism uh, and I will show you how you can temporarily fix it. The problem inside is the bearing that get loud, it getting dirty inside and basically you need to replace the bearing and the machine will be like new. So this bolt machine has there was a capsule inside. Uh, this machine have a same bearing inside and same mechanism. So to disassemble both machines, I'll remove the part that can fall down when I'm uh, turning them around. So you would see exactly what I'm doing. So these machines, both of them, have a, on the other side two screws one two screws and from here you can see there are two attachments that can be uh, that you need to fit the screwdriver inside or something sharp so in this way this top part can be easily removed this machine doesn't have any screws in the bottom so you unscrew these two screws you take out these two hinges from the side and the top part is removed all the other stuff I'll be showing on this machine because it's a little bit harder to disassemble so I'll be showing on it how you can do it so this other machine I'll put on the side and I'll be showing you what you need to do on the other machine okay let's start so for this machine to be able to disassemble it there are the same two screws inside as you can see from this side you can see really good the attachments one and two hinges that you need to press and the top part will be removed so basically and there are two more screws from the side it's easier to remove completely the top lid so you can easily work from inside for the side one uh, it's uh, let me see okay so it's T, uh, it doesn't focus, but it's okay. It's T20 screwdriver to remove the two side bolts. So I'll remove it from the side. inside I think it's uh, yes. it's T9 so we'll put it on the side we'll insert the T9 After that, I'll use the flat bit to press on the plastic so I can remove the top lid. So, as you can see, I don't know if you see it well, I'm sorting it here so I can press and the from one side and after that I press from the second side also I'm doing the same thing okay I press on both sides now I'm pulling the top part and in meantime I also press in here so I can lift these two 
ears okay so and this part is removed so basically here is the machine if you close it there's a spring a small spring you press on it gently and it opens so our bearing is inside to do it to, we need to, uh, to remove it we need to there are two springs from the sides one two two springs are removed the top button if you press here the top part can be easily removed the same thing we are pressing on the side so this is the rubber we'll put it aside after that when we'll assemble we'll put it back the top part is removed on the side there is often a dirt in this part i will when i just uh, unscrew this uh, four screws i will show you how you can access it basically you can remove this pipe and you can flash with the water so it can be cleaned up if for example you have a problem that the water doesn't pass through this thing can be blocked so I will remove four screws from the top it's the same T9 screwdriver Okay, when the screws are removed, this thing pops up and here you can pull it and this disconnect the pipe. Here, if you disconnect this part and this one, you can flash with the water if there is any coffee inside it. But for now, we'll put it on the side and we'll continue. Other stuff you need to do, it's, uh, you see there are two pins that are connecting from the side. To be able to remove the top part, we need to remove these two pins. First of all, here, it's under this it's a spring under the tension to be able to remove it we need to press it and turn it opposite clock and go up the spring is under the pressure so watch out it has some pressure on it this is the spring that can be removed and under will be our bearing this thing it's also removable so basically to unscrew it I'll keep my and oops there's a small spring that jump out it was here to be able to unscrew it i am keeping my hands from the bottom uh, pay attention it's really sharp in the bottles it they think it's breaking the capsule and i, and I need to turn this opposite clock direction so well Okay, so look, this thing now turns opposite clock direction. So this thing is removed. And now the bottom part, it's going down. Here it's our bearing. We will use our finger and we press up. So basically we got our bearing back. So as you can see, this is a new bearing that I installed. I'll uh, clean it a little bit so you would see it. It's a bearing, so it's basically it's. Uh, I will show the site in the comment bar or in the description of the video, so you can know exactly what's the size of the bearing. But as I remember, it's uh, uh, twenty-four, twelve by five but uh, i will recheck it again i will put exactly the size in the comment so this is the problem of this machine this bearing creates a lot of uh, noise and uh, i also put in the description uh, where you can order this type of the bearing you replace it and your machine become silent like it was from the factory i wouldn't say it was it's really silent machine but at least it wouldn't create this uh, huge noise uh, for the bearing also the, uh, you need to choose the stainless steel or ceramic one because if you get like a normal uh, metal bearing it will get rusted really quickly so you need to stay with the stainless steel one. 
Uh, also, if for example your machine is now loud and you order the bearing, if it takes some time to come, you can remove the seal from the top, you can wash out the bearing existing one and you can put the grease inside and close it back. This will uh, extend its life for uh, no, no, three half of months, half of the year, but uh, it will help you if uh, you have noise right away. Now we are putting back our bearing. So we'll put the bearing here. Now after we'll insert it in the hole back and we'll take the bottom part, we insert it in the middle and we are screwing the thing back. This thing should be tight not to fall down. After that we can close the machine for now. We install our spring. We'll use uh, this thing to put it back. Uh, watch out where is the connection for the hoses. It's from the side. Only in this way it can be inserted. No other way. So basically we are pressing on the spring and we are putting it back in place. Now it's back under the tension. We'll put our hose back. We'll put the plastic back, we'll use the four screws. We'll put our button back. It should clamp. After that, we're inserting our rubber rubber part. We are putting back the. I I don't think this thing should be removed. I simply removed them because when I done the first time, uh, I removed them also. But. Uh, Ah no, they need to be removed because uh, they keep the white part, so you need to remove them. Basically, we'll now insert them. I forgot to mention you when we remove this thing there was also a spring that I will show you in a second there was a spring that was attaching the white part to the bottom I forget it to show you so now I will show you this is the spring that need also gently to be removed so we connect it here and now we expand it and connect it to the white part as you can see here is the spring and here are two more that keep in before you remove the white part you need to remove these three springs okay so basically another thing also when you disassemble this thing would be move, moving so now you need to attach to the same part if you don't do it well you can't really open it back and when you unscrew it it will be a pain to be uh, to be able to remove the top lid you need to remove the side screws and so on so now align if you do the alignment properly it would be okay so now i will open it opening don't forget from the side spring now i'm inserting the top one and i feel that it's not connected properly so i need to open it again and to align it with that pins. This is really important to be able to open it after. Okay, I'm putting back. Okay, now I can feel the tension.
we are checking, closing and opening it. It opens perfectly. That means everything is working. So we are inserting back our plate. That's all. The machine is fixed. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel so you can see more video of this type. Okay, thank you. Have a good day. Bye.